vision of HRSD is that future generations will inherit clean waterways and be able to keep them clean. Uh, to do that, it requires investing in both new infrastructure and new technologies, as well as replacing the old and aging infrastructure. This is one of the largest efforts here at HRSD. We have a commitment with the state to reduce the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus being discharged from our treatment facilities. Um, we'll also be increasing the wet weather capacity from 80 to 100 million gallons a day, and we're replacing some aging infrastructure. The facility was built back in the 1940s, and it's time to make some improvements. The biggest challenge of this project is definitely working with an existing facility that has to stay operating. It's not a simple, you know, flip of the switch. We have to work with the plant to install these new facilities and make sure they're integrated seamlessly while maintaining the plant's operation. So far it's been pretty positive. I'd say the most fulfilling aspect for me is seeing it go from paper to actual design. I think the pride comes in knowing that you're doing something good for the community, even though they may not know it in their day-to-day -day lives. We're protecting their waterways for future generations. So many of us have children. I have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old that love spending time on the water, and I want them to be able to enjoy boating and seafood as they grow old and my grandchildren grow old too. The Virginia Initiative Plant was one of the first nitrogen removal facilities in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We got patents on the facility and we shared those patents with people across the state, across the country, and around the world. It was a very innovative technology at the time. Now in the 21st century, we're looking to upgrade those improvements, take that technology to the next level. I think that people would be surprised to know actually how much process goes through here every day. It's actually in the millions of gallons. A lot of toilets flushing. You know, I guess everybody, they go out to the mailbox and they get their bill and it says HRSD. Most people don't understand what HRSD is involved in. It's just, uh, it's amazing to watch it go up. Those investments support businesses and people and families today here in Hampton Roads. We use a lot of local contractors, uh, the suppliers are local, and that those dollars are just magnified throughout the region. So not only are we helping future generations, we're helping our current economic situation here in Hampton Roads. It's a very large project for us. It gives us a chance to keep a lot of our people working and at home. It's nice to sleep in my own bed at night. It keeps us going. It keeps a lot of our employees working. Just a good all-around company to work for. Clean water in the United States is really taken for granted, especially on the wastewater side. People flush and forget, and yet we've got a whole staff of professionals that spend their days making sure that water is treated to exacting standards before it's discharged. The water that goes out of this plant that has been tested by our own laboratories and by outside agencies is proven to be cleaner than the water that's in the Elizabeth River. It was very exciting to be able to be part of the design of the Virginia Initiative Plant upgrade and to be able to know that my kids, my neighbors, the employees here would be able to enjoy a cleaner water, a better environment to live in, and a better life in general. I can go home every day knowing that I've done really good to the public world, that I've contributed to life as we know it.